first at-home COVID-19 treatment approved by the U.S. FDA. Finally, the U.S. FDA has approved emergency use of the new Pfizer COVID-19 pill in people at high risk of severe disease. It is the first approved COVID treatment in the U.S. to be taken at home. But before we continue, please like this video if you find this informative and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative content. Don't forget to click the bell icon too to get the latest updates. Pfizer's Paxlovid has been announced publicly several weeks back. Although meant as a COVID treatment, only select individuals may actually take it. This is because Paxlovid has limitations and anything beyond the recommended is not yet fully tested. So don't expect this as a miracle pill. Here are the limitations according to the FDA. First, Paxlovid is not authorized as pre-exposure or post-exposure prevention of COVID-19. You can't use this drug to shield yourself from the coronavirus. Second, the antiviral pill is not a substitute for vaccines or boosters. Even those who can take vaccines shouldn't rely on this antiviral as a preventative tool. Third, it is not authorized as a treatment for those who need hospitalization because of severe symptoms. Fourth, it is only authorized for mild to moderate COVID-19 in adults and children 12 years of age and older. And fifth, the FDA only granted emergency authorization, not full approval. More scientific data is needed to grant that status. So how does the oral pill work? Paxlovid has two main parts, nirmatrelvir and ritonavir. The former blocks the protein to slow down SARS-CoV-2's replication. The latter delays nirmatrelvir's breakdown in the human body. This helps nirmatrelvir to stay longer at high concentrations. Due to the nature of the drug, other drugs that highly depend on enzymes targeted by Paxlovid may be considered contraindicated. Performance-wise, it can cut the risk of COVID-related hospitalization and death by up to 88%. Those who take this drug may experience side effects like diarrhea, impaired sense of taste, and hypertension. There's also a special note. Taking Paxlovid may lead to HIV-1 drug resistance in those with uncontrolled or undiagnosed HIV-1 infection. So consider seeing your doctor for HIV testing if you're at risk of HIV. What's your reaction to this new development? Are you in favor of this at-home medication? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.